Hi guys, uh, today is um, May 3rd, 2020 and I'm gonna tell you how we constructed this uh, 25,000 gallon pond with a window behind me for uh, $6,000 just the pond itself this is gonna be a quick overview and I will provide some links in the uh, description field below that you can see step by step how it was done through several videos uh, with some more details but anyhow this this enclosure as I said is uh, 25,000 gallons it's about 50 feet long by uh, an average of uh, 15 feet wide it's a bit of a half dog bone and uh, 5 feet deep and it features a 45 foot by 3 and a half foot acrylic window in the front the trivial stuff is the uh, plywood and the lumber that's about thousand dollars so it's it's pretty much a plywood box I'm also using the walls of the house and a patio as one side this is all plywood on that side those are the brick walls of the house and of the lanai or patio and then this is the other plywood uh, plywood side right here plywood and uh, wood boards so as I said plywood is about thousand dollars with the wood and then the rubber liner is a EDPM liner 45 mil fiber uh, I'm sorry Firestone it's another thousand dollars and then the main thing and the hardest thing is of course the uh, the window I got the acrylic from uh, Craigslist the main panels are five panels three quarter inch thick nine foot by three and a half foot and then there is uh, I also got from Craigslist uh, a bunch of half inch acrylic sheets eight foot by four foot by half inch I don't know probably like uh, 20 of them or so and some other scraps I found or laying around or some were donated to make the posts the window features four posts one two three four and they're full acrylic as well and they go on the ground so what you see here is about three and a half feet and then they'll go four and a half feet in the ground and the pond is made so that uh, only you know above ground is three and a half feet and about one and a half foot is below ground but I slant at the bottom of the of the drop-off one and a half foot drop-off so you can see that the fish cannot hide the uh, outside of the field of vision so you can always see the fish they cannot hide you know down there below where you could not see them anyhow as I said these are the main panels, three-quarter inch. The way I uh, glue them together is they're glued together from inside and out. So this is one panel right here. It's half-inch panel. The overlap is one foot on each side. This is the main seam. And the same thing is on the inside, half-inch panel right here same overlap one foot on each side and then I laminated more acrylic panels to make it stronger and resist bowing so there is a this looks like an inch no a two half inch acrylic panels right here that are also two feet wide 
Then I laminated one foot wide, two half-inch acrylic panels. Stepping, so I'm stepping both the the width and the height of the reinforcing panels. So this is uh, one, two, three half-inch acrylic panels, and uh, finally this one, uh, this uh, little narrower half-inch acrylic panel for this post. So as I said, this post goes down on the in the ground by four and a half feet and the pond goes down one and a half foot. So each, each post is a little different, whatever scraps I had or cut, cut offs. But you can see the layers of the post laminated together here as well. Uh, the reason for doing, doing full acrylic is, this is my first ac uh, acrylic job anyway, so uh, don't be too judgmental, it, it's, it's admittedly pretty ugly. I have a lot of bubbles left and a lot of air trapped because I couldn't use enough glue to squeeze out all the air that would uh, increase my glue bill by I don't know two three four times if I attempted that so I was saying saving on the glue as I said the acrylic uh, itself was about two thousand dollars off of Craigslist but the glue I had to buy from in interstate plastics in California about $125 a gallon, that's a weld on number 40. Um, altogether, I think I used uh, about $2,000 worth of the glue. That is about um, eight gallons or so. But it, again, I went with the, with the full acrylic post because I wanted a complete visibility. I wanted to try and not have a, you know, wood or a metal or a steel beam here that would block the view and again I was just winging it I didn't know what was going to be out of it but that's that's what it is also the, the uh, posts were leaning in a little bit before I filled it with water right now it's leaning out a bit but it's been running for two years and uh, so far so good no problems Okay, the way I've uh, fixed the liner to the window I don't know if you can see them, there are stainless steel bolts every uh, three and a half inches and it's a sandwich uh, there's an acrylic strip then uh, rubber liner then uh, special dough silicone dough 795 and then the the main window and then everything is squeezed together by by the stainless steel bolts all right all along the perimeter on the bottom And then instead of the bolts, I'm just using stainless steel screws to squeeze everything by screwing it to the to the wood column on the side. Yeah, I forgot to mention that uh, the three-quarter acrylic paints, the main ones, like this. This is only three-quarter inch by nine foot and by three and a half foot. I reinforced them uh, at the top and at the bottom with a six inch half, six inch wide, half inch thick acrylic uh, strip on the on the top and on the bottom, and also on the inside, on the outside, and on the inside as well. And then for the top. I also uh, added another three inch acrylic strip, half inch, both on, on both sides, in and out. And then this, uh, the top plate, again to give it some more rigidity and resistance to bowing, because as you can see, there is no bracing from the front to the back. 
is fully open. So this uh, this window has to support all the water pressure by itself. No help from the braces. It's only the posts, the four acrylic posts, these four, and the two wooden uh, columns on the ends. That's all that's holding the uh, the water pressure. It was very hard to laminate. Sometimes I had to use the bolts. So this is the, where the bolts used to be to squeeze together the acrylic uh, panes. And then I, I had to cut them out and then put in the plugs and glue them in. So those are the, from the bolts. You can see the leftovers. Again, this is mighty ugly, but uh, it's functional so far. No leaks, no problems in two years, as I said. So that's the way uh, the uh, 45 foot by three and a half foot acrylic window was done. So altogether, it's uh, two thousand dollars worth of acrylic, two thousand dollars worth of glue, one thousand for the liner, and one thousand for the plywood and and uh, boards. So all in all, just the uh, just the pond itself with the window is uh, cost me six thousand dollars plus my labor. I've been building this on and off for about two years. The filtration and everything else is separate. It's an additional expense. We got 10 uh, pumps in that corner. There are uh, 6,600 gallon per hour pumps. SP pumps, Pro Echo. The brand. Each of them is uh, has a 3 inch pipe that pushes, well with this head, the uh, flow diminishes to about 6,000 gallons an hour. It's probably about seven, eight foot uh, head. So all of those uh, pipes carry water to the to an aqueduct. Behind this curtain, there is a wooden aqueduct with a rubber liner, where the water then runs by gravity. It runs towards the filter. That uh, plywood box behind is the filter. It's a simple uh, trickle filter, dry wet. It's right here behind that box. The box is about um, eight feet by four feet. That's the footprint. And it's probably about six feet tall. So as I said, this is the aqueduct that uh, that houses the water that's running from the pumps. Into the filter. And it's lined with rubber again. Just a rubber liner. So this is uh, 60 thousand gallons an hour of water running into the filter this is a medium density green mat that that uh, filters out the uh, large mechanical debris I have to vacuum it every now and then and then the water smoothly and evenly runs down or showers down on the uh, Biomedia below. And for the biomedia, we simply have uh, 10,000 nylon mesh pot scrubbers. The ones that are uh, multicolor ones that you can buy at, at any one dollar store and stuff but i bought them in bulk from coal imports in california you probably can see them there they're the multicolored type so all it is the water 
rains down on the on the scrubbers and then falls back into the into the into the pond. So that's in short how we've done it. As I said, I will have links in the description field with more YouTube videos for you to see any details if you were interested. This was started in 2016, went on into 2017, then it survived the uh, Hurricane Irma on September 10th, 2017 in Naples, Florida. And then uh, we finished it in 2018. And the fish has been living here for about two years in 2018 and uh, so far so good, as I said. The lighting is simple. Uh, workshop li uh, lights, like $5 lights. I have to have them at, with 12 volts, so they run through a transformer to satisfy the electrical code. They cannot be 120 volts, they have to be low voltage. So we have uh, 16 lamps with very simple basic uh, LED white light bulbs in them, 12 volt bulbs. What else? This is the water uh, running in for the water change. One, two, three, four, five sources. And then uh, this is the only drain down below. And then the water runs on the ground and into the hospital tank. So this is all the water uh, that's coming in and out 24-7, 365. That changes about uh, that achieves about a hundred percent water change every week. Every seven days, we change hundred percent of water. 20, all 20, uh, 20 thousand gallons. I mean, the pond is twenty five thousand gallons, but we're I'm only filled filled it uh, not not to the top, but there is one foot below the top, so it contains about twenty thousand gallons of water. All right, and then the water is coming out here, goes into the sand filter and into the ground as uh, demanded by the Florida Wildlife Commission requirements. If you have any particular questions, feel free to ask them in your, in your comments below. Um, I can't promise to get to them timely, but I will try. And depending on how many questions I get, I may not be able to answer all of them. And uh, if you really want to know the details, be sure to watch the videos that I will link in the description. They will tell you probably almost everything you need to know. And again, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate always your attention to our humble channel. It's uh, We're really appreciative of this anyway. <laughs> thank you guys. Bye.